Okay, alright, greetings and salutations! My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Pokemon Pearl! In the last episode, we got to Selacy on Town, and in this episode, we're gonna continue on our quest. It certainly has been a while, huh? That ball over there contains a great ball. I don't wanna fight her. Darn it! Thought I could make it. Anyway, now I'm playing on an emulator, so I can. You know, start doing things. More professional things. Much, you know, you don't have to deal with it. You don't have to deal with uh, the bad quality of the camera. I can speed through random battles and not have to edit them out. Uh, sure, like little black dots appear every now and then, but hell, we can get past that, can't we? <laughs> now. Not everything is exactly the same. I try to get it as close as possible. Some natures were changed. Some genders were changed. It's not exactly the same LP I left it as, but it's close enough to where I think we're all mature enough to put up with it. So, this route is covered in rain, and it has a lot of strong trainers. Now, rain makes it so... I think I've already explained it. Rain makes it so that fire types deal less damage, and water attacks do more damage. Also, some abilities activate with it, some moves are better with it. Huh, another item ball, what could it be? You get a full heal. Not bad, Adam, not bad. I wanted to go to Celestic Town, but there's some Pokemon on the way. Yeah, we can't get to Celestic Town yet. Anyway, welcome to Veilstone City. Oh, come on, guys. Man, y'all suck. Anyway, there's lots of fun things to do in, uh, Veilstone. Anyway, let's get our team set up. I'm gonna put 99 out in front. Because there is a gym in this town. And it is a fighting type gym. Now, we can't get up here without an HM for, uh... Rock Climb, which is the last HM. Either the last or the second to last HM we'll get. I don't totally remember. I'm not totally sure what this is. Darn it. Didn't need that to be loud. Okay. Oh, hey, Don. Sounds like you ain't be doing nothing, Don. Heh. <laughs> Women. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? The gym leader's a user of fighting type Pokemon. She'd be over oh, she. She'd be a terror against normal type Pokemon. But, and it's a big but, just between you and me, he said flying type and psychic type could be real trouble for. Her. So let's just fight all the trainers and I'll get into the gimmick of this place. Ha tears! Someone hit me really hard and then say it's for tears. Tears for fears? No. Anyway, here's a Machoke, the evolution of Machop. Much stronger. I've never actually used a Machoke slash Machop. Anyway, they mostly use, uh, normal and fighting type attacks, both of which are completely resisted by ghost types. So we can slam her with Gust, well, him with Gust, and he can't do much in return. Now, mostly everyone uses the same Pokemon here, being in the, uh, Machop family. It's not a terribly difficult, uh, gym. Look, all they can do is leer. Now, if one of them knew payback, we'd probably get one-shotted, but... I'm... I want to say we're pretty safe in them not knowing payback at this point. Or at all. I'm not even sure if they can learn payback. Might be thinking of fifth gen of the, uh, Timber family. Mmm, that's experience. 
Here we have Metatite. Metatites are psychic and fighty, and that's a, it's an interesting type combination. And they can use the move Detect, which is kind of like Protect with less accuracy and a fighting type, uh... Type. <laughs> uh, it's really useful in, uh, like, double battles where Pokemon tend to use Protect, and then we'll use a move like Imprison, so... Imprison makes it so if you have a move, the opponent can't use a move. That move if they have it. So Detect is pretty useful to, uh, throw off like, protectors and imprisoners. I've seen it used before. I don't know if it's a really common strategy. I heard it's a common strategy, but I can't, uh, you know, vouch for that. <clears throat> and we defeated Black Belt Jeffrey. Are you crying? And there's, here's sort of the gimmick of this place, these little sliding door thingamaboobers. Yeah, boober. I kind of just want to defeat all the trainers before I actually start uh, sliding the doors. Yeah, courage! The Cowardly Dog Show! Sarin Courage, the Cowardly Dog! Abandoned as a bup, he was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband, Juicy's Bags. But oh, creepy stuff happens in nowhere. It's up to courage! I don't remember the rest. I don't, I don't remember if it's protect or save his new home, and then stupid dog, you made me look bad. <laughs> and then he screams, and then it's the title. Oh, oh, that's bad. I think this is the first time Foresight's ever gonna. I've never, basically, Foresight makes it so a normal type attack or a fighting type attack can hit a ghost type. I do believe this is the first time I've ever actually seen this strategy used. It's not usually a common strategy, but now we can get hit. Fortunately, we're still part uh, flying type, so that didn't do much. <clears throat> After this Machoke, I'm probably just not going to show off the rest, I just wanted to show because 99 was about to level up. Ding! Uh, if you don't know, I, I uh, made all of my uh, episodes public again. So if you want to go and watch the older episodes, more power to you. Anyway, I'll be right back. And we are back. And I'm probably going to fight again, so I don't know why I came back. I might as well have just cleared all these guys out. With Karate Quads, I'll strike a blow for hope with my fist. Yeah, hope! <clears throat> and it hit level 27. Wonderful. You anyway, want to learn the move? Swallow. No. It goes well with Stockpile, but... And Spit Up also goes well with that, but I don't want those moves since they're... They get rid of your Stockpile boost. I don't know if we even have Stockpile on. Didn't really pay attention anymore. Wait, what? I thought he was supposed to evolve at level 27. Eh, it might be 28. Who knows? Or 31. Might even be thinking of an entirely different poke. Yes! <sighs> Made a poor play and ended up losing a... 99. I don't even know why I came back. I'm gonna go heal up and be right. Alright, now let's do this. And this one goes over here. And we'll go over here. And slam you over there. And you over there. Oh, I forgot we can run inside buildings. <laughs> and you over here. Put you back over here. Head on up here. Slam that into there. Can't get. Uh, head back up there. Move this ever so slightly. Get rid of that. Put this back over here. Move this one there. Position that one here. 
Move this back over here. This one over there. Never have to worry about that one again. Back over here. This over here. And now that we've all done all that, we've made it to Maylene. So I'd advise you save up. I wonder if this speed up key is working. If it's saving a lot of data, it takes a long time to save. That was with the speed up key. Hello, I am pleased to meet you. I am Aileen, and I'm the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got the gym leader title ship, but I will do the best I can. I take battling very seriously whenever you are ready. Maylene can be a problem. It, she blew my mind the first time I fought her, because mostly because I thought her strongest Pokemon was a legendary at the time. Stupid movies making me think that normal Pokemon are legendaries. Same thing happened to Zoroark, but I at least knew that wasn't a legend. Is this how we're going to start out, really? And I know I can't speed up through boss fights, because then that kind of defeats the point. I do have stockpile. Anyway, if you stockpile and then swallow, you'll start healing more, however more you stockpiled, and spit up does more damage. It's really situational, and I like the defense boosts that we get from a uh, stockpile. I like it more when uh, 99 here evolves. Down goes Metatite. Or Metatite. <laughs> That's not how it's pronounced. Oh, it didn't level up. Oh well, we'll keep it in. And if we see that it's in trouble, we'll just switch out, because mostly I found out that Drifloon does evolve at level 28. Why didn't I evolve it for the battle? I don't know. Man, it's dealing so close damage, but it's just not enough. Needlessly long animation. I can see what people mean now about 4th gen being a little slow. Maybe I should have just used Shockwave. That puts him in the red. She's probably going to heal him up. He's going to get slammed by a brick break. Ow. Did a lot of damage. Yeah, well, hyper potions now. They're not playing around anymore. But then again, neither are we. It's two gusts in a row, which puts her back in a pretty bad position. Not as bad as it was before, a little min-max damage shenanigans, but... Now, assuming we don't get critical hitted. Yeah, that's a big pile of poop. Brought this low from a brick break on a ghost type. You know, you never think you'd see the day, but... Well, that day sneaks up on you, you know? Anyway, 99 is now level 28 and will evolve after this fight. I'm definitely keeping her out of the fight now. And now she's going to send in a Lucario. Now keep in mind, I thought this thing was a legend the first time I saw it. It's like, heard about it, and I'm like, geez, she's using a legendary. And I bragged all my friends about it, and they all thought I was stupid. I didn't have friends back then. Ah! And here's Lucario. It is fighting and steel type, which means fighting can turn around and deal some solid damage back to it. In fact, that's the strategy I'm going to employ. Now, Drain Punch is 60 base power, 5 PP. Drains a bit of a, like, half the HP it deals to the opponent. It, uh, it heals you by. It's better in 5th gen, where its power is boosted from 60 to 75. This is gonna deal some good damage. I didn't expect an OKO, but I'll take it. <laughs> Anchor Skate. Boatload of EXP, and we defeated Maylene! So now... What? 99 is evolving! Oh boy. 
Oh boy! 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 <laughs> yeah! Congratulations, your 99 has evolved into Drift Blim! It's now a blimp! That's just... That's just cool. And we get the Cobble Badge from Maylene. I think it was supposed to be the Clobber Badge, but... Maybe there's something I'm missing. Now we can use Fly outside of battle. I don't think we can get Fly for a good long while, though. And we get Drain Punch. I don't think any of our Pokémon can learn it. Let's take a look at 99 first. Sweet. We got like 20 more special attack. No, let's see. Well, Infernape. I mean, not Infernape. Monferno can learn it for sure, but... Oh, it can? <laughs> wow. That makes Drain Punch entirely useless, because the fourth member of my party... I mean, the final member of my party definitely won't be able to use it. Then I'm gonna trap you. Lol. Oh, hey, Don. Tired of being useless? <sighs> we gotta go beat them up. She didn't drag us here because she knew that we might be tired after fighting Maylene. How considerate could she be? Anyway, let's get 99 out of the limelight. Let's put Luminabe up in front. Lumine is going to take a little while to evolve, but I think she needs the... Is it a she this time? It is. Lumine is still a she. Well, the person named it after Lumine in Mega Man X8, I, th I heard he was female in the Japanese release, and then male in the English release, but... I don't know, by Shonen characters. Never friggin' though. It's Japan. Hey, Don. Didn't you just say that before? Dirty deeds, some dirt sheep? Let's fight as a Team Galactic member, then. Or two. How about that? Beautifly and Dustox. The final evolution of Wormpole. Dustox is from Cascoon, Beautifly is from Silcoon. I think I already explained this, actually. She's gonna open up a Clefairy. And she likes using Metrodome, so we might actually get to see some really cool moves. Now I'm gonna use Rain Dance, so uh, Water Pulse is boosted up in power, and Dustox is already using Protect, and I was gonna hit Dustox with Water Pulse. So it's best that I... Oh! Oh, Jesus, Mega Drain. That's gonna hurt. That might actually take us out. You can handle it, Lumine. It's not even stab. Oh, well, I just didn't did half as much as I expected. Didn't do half as much as I had expected. <laughs> and now it's rain dance scene. Don't we'll use gravity. So now all flying types lose their flying type. Levitators can't stay up. You can't mo use moves like fly, splash, or bounce. Can't even use splash. The move becomes even more useless. Right on the beautiful. Why is it still so fat? Oh yeah, this one doesn't have Swift Swim. Lumine might not actually get to do anything if Dustox is faster. Well, Dustox is faster, but didn't attack the right Pokémon. This is actually probably going to be a very good predictor of how Lumine is going to perform over the course of the LP. There's hope for us yet. And Clefairy can still do things. Please sing Dustox or Beautiful. Hell, I don't even know who I want you to sing. Can we lose both of you? That'd be sweet. Alright, I guess not. Hmm. Well, now's a good time to use... Well, we're gonna need a Super Potion if we want to keep Luminae alive. I'm actually just going to speed this fight up a bit. Get through all the after turn effects. Or all the effects, who knows. <laughs> Another Stunky.
Oh yeah, Wake Up Slap does more damage if the opponent is sleeping. Now why she attacked a Pokemon that had a quadruple resistance to that move, I will never know. And we lost that. But we're still alive. Has rain stopped yet? Oh, rain stopped a long time ago. Well, I guess I'll stop with that. Ooh, but Psybeam's still gonna do a ton of damage. Come on, how much damage? Anyway, Dawn has three Pokémon. That Clefairy, Kadabra, and the second form of her starter Pokémon. In this case, she had a Turtwig, so it is now a Grottle. Ooh, Krewagunk. This thing is... I think I've already explained it. Poison and Fighting. Quadruply weak to Psychic. That hurt, probably. A good portion of an amount. A Nicki Minaj. You should have just given us back the Pokedex. Hmm. Sounds like we need to head to Pastoria City then. Ew. You gonna get touched. Well, I guess that'll be it for now. See you guys in the next episode!